Hello guys and welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to highlight text in Premiere Pro. To get started, I just added this screenshot to my timeline and I would like to highlight this first line of text. To do that, I'll just come over to my pen tool over here and hold on it. Now I'll select this rectangle tool. Now move over to the line of text you want to highlight and drag a rectangle line across the text and automatically you will notice that a graphic layer has been created on your timeline. So next you go over to effects control tab and under your shape layer here, you select it and then you can change the fill color of your highlight. Mine is set to yellow. You can change it to whatever color you prefer, but I will just leave it at yellow. Then you scroll down to video and under your blend mode opacity, you can change it from normal to multiply. Okay, now we have our text highlighted as you can see over here. And now we need to animate our highlights. So you come over to your effects tab over here and you search for the crop effect. Drag this crop effect and drop it onto your graphics layer over here. And move over to your effects control tab. And now under your effects control, make sure that your playhead is set to the beginning of your graphics layer over here. And then go over to the crop effect and change the right value to 100. And click on the stopwatch toggle to create your starting keyframe. Now move over a little bit to where you want the highlights to end and over there you can create another keyframe by reducing it back from 100 to 0. And if we go back to the beginning and hit on play, you can see that we have created a highlight here but that looks too fast. You can always increase or reduce the speed of the highlight by moving these keyframes to closer or apart. Okay, that's what we have created now. Now to make this a more smooth effect, you can select your both keyframes over here, right click on one and select Auto Bezier. Alright guys, that's it for me. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you found this tutorial very useful. If you did, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and see you in my next video tomorrow.